Okay. What? Oh, uh, anyway. <laughs> so, uh, time and date. I'm going to take a break from social media. I need to take a break from social media to hopefully improve my mental health. I am a social media addict. <laughs> it's like, it's like uh, what you, you're in one of those, what do you get, alcohol, anonymous alcoholics. <laughs> I think this is a, it's a real, very, very surreal addiction, social media, because didn't they say that social, social media is addictive? It gives you the dopamine whenever you click or something. Yeah, I am a foldy I mean, how long since late 2009 when I started um, well um, shortly before I started posting videos uh, I have been uh, an avid social media user. So for the past for the past decade or more, my life has been consumed by social media use. Either through making videos on other content and consuming videos on other content, uh, participating in social media. It's, it's basically basically taken over my whole life for almost like more than 12 years. So, and uh, it's gone to the point where I completely neglect my own life, where my life is like, you know, I spend almost every day just on social media. And my 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 life, my my real life, like and nothing gets done, or it's like my 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 mental space is in the virtual arena, and it's not paying any attention to the world around me. And ironically enough, as it may seem, I have been watching some videos on social media about quitting from social media. <laughs> And that's kind of ironic, but um, but there is a very good benefit. So I've tried to do this before, but should I go cold turkey or no? I don't. I'm not gonna go cold turkey. I want to limit my social media use. Uh, not going cold turkey. Limit. Uh, social media use to informative content like news or commentary what i want to stop doing is uh stop this parasocial relationship with social media content creators I think this is the problem is like I develop these parasocial relationships with people I watch and and that is like a substitution for a fake almost one way substitution for a real relationship and that's the addictive part when you develop this parasocial thing and that's something I want to stop yeah that's you know I want to stop that and I want to limit my social media use just news and information or you know like um useful like content like let's say you want to you know the, you want to know how to like uh, i don't know uh, like install a light bulb 
<laughs> and then you don't know how to do it. And maybe there's a video saying, oh, this is how you, you know, stuff like that. That's actually informative. You know, you can get that information from the internet or video, whatever source. But that, I don't think that kind of content is bad because you're just using, you're just trying to obtain information. You know, it's like no different from reading a book. But the type of content which I need to stop is this parasocial type of content when you substitute uh, these virtual people for real relationships. I think that's the real bad part. Um, but I'm only generally even, you know, I'm just going to reduce gradually my social media use. Uh, I have the I have tried to do it a little bit and it does help me like my anxiety goes away you know I don't have to think about anyone else in the social media world and just you know I feel more I think it's gonna I have to go through some withdrawal or something it might take it might be difficult but I am going to do this so I thought I'll just make a video talking about it just in case you know I don't post a lot of content or whatever. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to be taking a break from social media. Um, yeah.